everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Valentina if you're new here welcome and thank you very much for stopping by on today's video I'm gonna do a makeup for people over 30s I realized that like with aging my way of doing my makeup and the choice of products that I do for my makeup changed completely from when I was in my 20s because my skin has been changing I hope you guys are gonna like it don't forget to subscribe to the channel I would really appreciate that and let's get to the video it goes without saying that the first thing you have to think about is your skincare when you're passing like 25 years old is when your skin starts aging when you're in your late 20s that's when i started to sort out my skincare routine my skincare routine keeps changing and changing and changing you don't need to use a thousand different products to achieve having a good looking skin anyway let's crack on i'm gonna start with my base i'm using the revlon airbrush effect wearing a foundation that is actually lightweight and that you know still gives me the coverage that i want and the coverage that i need this is not a quick makeup if you want a quick makeup i'm gonna leave the link up here i haven't been using this foundation in a while now that i see it on the skin i do remember why i did like it a lot <laughs> i went through like quite a few bottles of this foundation because it's very good my skin still looks like my skin but I have the coverage that I want. And I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I have a tutorial just for eyebrows. For my eyes, I'm going to an oldie but goodie, so I'm taking the Naked Palette. I'm missing the two matte colors. The mix of these two is gonna go in my crease. And I remember when I was in high school is when we all had the rimmel powder it's such a good powder and it's so affordable i think it's like three pounds super affordable and i remember it used to come with a powder puff and like we had the matte skin was the thing when i was in high school and we had nothing in our skin on our skin but we all had this cloudy powder in our backpacks and we were there with like the powder puff and go like psh, psh, wiping all of this powder in our on our faces and then i had the phase where i was just wearing a way too dark foundation for my skin i found this picture when i went back home I don't remember when but it wasn't long a long time ago and I think it's a picture from when I was 18 and my face is basically orange and then from here and I have like you can see the stripe here of where the foundation was and then the neck is like so white like milk white then I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm gonna start with half baked and it's just you know dusting I didn't put any primer on I have the foundation oh. I think I scared the poor delivery guy and then I blend with the brush that I use for the crease to darken up the outer corner I'm using dark horse I'm using the same brush and this one really just goes over here in the outer corner just to give a little bit of definition and then I blend the crease. before finishing my eyes I'm gonna finish the rest of my face I'm gonna do concealer when you start aging your under eyes start to get all of the lines and that is where your products tend to deposit that's why you want lightweight products with concealers I have to be very careful if I use a bit of a 
heavier concealer i really i can't use that much and i have to blend properly and then set straight away otherwise 100 percent sure even before i finish doing my makeup i already have the concealer in my lines i'm gonna use the maybelline instant anti-age eraser multi-use concealer i'm going a little bit down with this this concealer is great because not only is lightweight so you wouldn't even expect that much coverage it actually has a great coverage and it blends like a dream i'm using a yellow powder to set my under eye so it brightens up even more for the rest of my face i'm using the revlon candy powder you heard me talking about this powder a lot because it's such a fine powder and this is the powder that I do use if I want to bake to have all that powder melting with the foundation and into my skin I'm spraying it with some with some water I'm going back into my eyes now so the the water can dry and then I'm gonna apply the rest of the powders when you start aging your eyelid start to go down that's when doing eyeliner gets a little bit trickier but what we can do we can just do a diffuse line i'm using the gel liner by clinique you get your angle brush we we'll dip the brush in the liner we place it along the lash line and we're pulling upwards just ever so slightly and then before it dries i'm taking the fluffy brush that i use to apply the eyeshadows and I blend. like that you're still gonna give definition to your lash line and then it depends how intense you want the lash line you can always you know reapply and then blend especially when you're very close to the lash line you want that part to be quite intense now I'll finish the rest of my face for my contour i'm using the charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow i really have to go and buy a new one i go down on the neck for blush i'm using the physician formula butter blush if you don't like pink blush this is the perfect blush for you it's not particularly pigmented this color in particular just gives like a very natural color to your cheeks i spray again so what i always do is a layer of powder spray a layer of powder spray i'll take the first brush that i use for my crease and i do the mix of the first two colors again and then one goes all along my lash line lower lash line but i'm just taking a pencil brush and i'm dipping into dark horse and then one goes halfway in I'm taking another pencil brush and I'm taking the color sidecar and then what goes in the inner corner and on the first half of my lower lash line then I'm gonna do highlighter I'm took I'm taking the highlighter from the um, bronze and glow duo I really want to try her bronzer but I want to go in store I do prefer the experience in store I think like I always have such a nice like welcome in her stores and it just feels so luxurious I love I love the Charlotte Tilbury stores and we're going in a V so we're applying on the cheekbone and the brow bone I'm keeping it natural with the lips so I'm lighting them just a bit
as a lipstick I'm using the Elisa Eldritch Velvet Fawn lipstick this is one of my favorite nudes and I like putting a darker lip liner because it gives that 90s vibe for mascara I'm using the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic mascara I think it's even better now that the formula is a bit drier then we give a last set to the face and this is it for today's video guys I hope you did enjoy the video so this is a makeup that I'm comfortable to wear in my 30s I think it's an easy makeup I think it's a flattering makeup I'm using products that I know are gonna work with my skin uh, that are not gonna sit in the lines that are just gonna smooth out my skin and they're gonna make it look at its best now remember as I always say makeup does just as much the most important thing is skincare skincare is something that in your in your 30s you should have uh, figure out already let me know if you would be interested in seeing my skincare i found that that little circle of products that works for me before i used to have so many more products and now that i found the right ones that work for me my skincare routine got shorter and actually more effective don't forget to go and follow me on social media instagram facebook like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the little notification bell down below i hope you guys are having a great day and i'll see you again soon Mwah. bye